Well, lads, welcome back. Um, we have a very special video for today. We have an ecologist reacts to Clarkson's Farm. Now, Clarkson's Farm is the new Amazon Prime TV show starring Jeremy Clarkson, in which he runs his own farm for pretty much the first time after owning it for like 13 years, I think. Particularly, there's one episode, I think episode four is called The Wilding. Jeremy essentially becomes a conservationist. He has a, several ideas and practices that he tries to improve biodiversity, nature, well-being, I guess, around the farm. We're just going to watch it and I'm going to react and give my thoughts on his practices and what he does throughout the episode, how good, ecologically speaking, those are and whether or not it'll work. It's an eight part series over on Amazon Prime. The link will be down in the description to the actual show itself. It's fantastic entertainment and if you're interested in farming or even if you're not, I'd recommend giving it a watch. Just because of the video, we've thrown on the special Father Ted small and far away cows t-shirt. It should be good. Let's get into the video guys. Let's start. We have the, the beautiful intro, chapter four, wilding, beautiful graphics of the wildflowers coming up. Jeremy driving around in his Land Rover saying how 25 years ago, driving along a road next to farms, you your windscreen would just be covered with insects, but because of, say, modern practices and intensification, the insects aren't there. And that's down to the fact that there's been a 75% decline of insects in the last 26 years. And Jeremy essentially uses this as an intro into, right, I want to improve my farm for nature. Fields have had to get bigger and more efficient. Which means that since the war, Britain has lost 140,000 miles of hedgerows. It's crazy because hedgerows are so important to our wildlife. Ancient woodlands. It's lost 97% of all its wildflower meadows. And that's it. Because it's lost so much of wildflower meadows, 97%, he says, the pollinators aren't there, the insects aren't there. So we need to improve this. And there are big pushes now on pollinator plans and biodiversity enhancers in towns and villages around Ireland and England. So yeah, essentially his whole plan is to make every nature aspect of his farm, besides his act farming fields, like his tillage fields, he wants to make them more ecologically diverse. And even in credit to him, in one of his episodes, I don't think it's in this one, he plants wildflowers in the middle or like along the edges of his tillage fields as well, which does help because he wanted to use the spiders and insects from the wildflowers to go in and kill the natural or to kill the pests of the tillage crop, which is a great idea. Love it. Now let's keep going. I went down to see how many red flags they'd found. So we start off oh. with Jeremy wanting to create a wetland down here. And obviously these guys from the Department of Agriculture in England have come out and they decided, oh, you can't actually create a wetland here because it's currently being used by other mammals. And Jeremy sets up a, a trap camera in the, in the minute. But this guy's attitude, this guy's attitude alone towards Jeremy, he just, I don't know if he was just bad on camera or if he was told to be really professional or what, but it, I don't know what to make of it, to be honest. Uh, I'll leave it play a bit. Very unlikely to be a water bowl. Come down here, have a look. Can you see these droppings here? And these are a kind of a tic-tac shape? Like, oh, that is faeces then, is it? Indeed, yeah. Now, there's a high likelihood that this is water vault droppings. Highly protected species. If you kill them, you'd be seen to be recklessly destroying that population. So eventually, he put down a trap camera and he discovered it was a shrew. So Works were able to go ahead and he was able to create his wetland. It's moving, I'm not touching anything and I'm just moving down. Oh shit. And of course he brings in the big digger to do his shit, environmental shit. work. And as we see, didn't go to plan really. I've done it. And he just pretty much ends up rolling down the hill in his big JCB. The steep bit, and I'm at the bottom. I began to excavate. Diving board and a swim up bar. Look at that, what a machine you are! So, I went off for a bite to eat, not realizing that while I was gone. The main thing is, there is a big stream running beside where he's creating this uh, pond. 
So the plan is to fill up the pond. So essentially what happened was as he was filling, as he was digging, he went away for lunch and he came back and half his pond was after filling up with water. So what he did was he came along and decided to make another wetland that he's now going to divert the stream into to create a wetland for herons and otters and things. Which, I mean, all he ends up doing really is causing massive soil erosion and probably siltation. Let me talk you through my plan. Once Mrs. Angry had gone, I set about building my... So now he's trying to dam the stream, which has its own ecological problems in the fact that you're diverting flow of water naturally. So in order that it backs up and fills in his wetland area. So he essentially just creates a channel to divert the water in to fill the second pond. But look at the destruction around him. Like, yeah, fine, it'll grow and it probably will be very beneficial, but the initial disruption is crazy. As we see here, essentially all the rain and everything made it so hard that he couldn't actually get out. So he needed three tractors to get his original tractor out. Like, look at this, the whole the whole land is just being destroyed. Everything. Like, it's gonna take about four years for the benefits of this wetland to outweigh all this negative, which is fair enough. You know, you're going to have negatives sometimes if you want to create a wetland, um, especially in the area it is. But the fact is, as it's pointed out many times, his tractor is just far too big. So now he's explaining his big plan to his farm manager. And now Charlie's explaining the fact that because this farm, this part of the farm isn't going to be farmed, he's not going to get payment for this area of land. Then it was time to start some more environmental work in the woods. So next up, we're moving on to forestry. He essentially, he's going to tin this woodland, which has to be done because it creates light. It helps develop beautiful ground floor canopy or ground floor flora essentially it takes away the darkness and monoculture-esque styles which we really need our it is shown as like pure destruction but it's actually so efficient and it's done so so beautifully in a sense while it also is very sustainable This is the amount of timber he's gotten from his tinning of his woodland. It's a lot. Look at all that. It's crazy. And he goes into how everyone was calling him out of being like destruction and deforestation and everything on social media afterwards. And he goes into it very well here. Why are you doing deforestation? 200 tons of timber out of here and... You can't tell, it looks exactly the same as it did before. It's incredible. It's virtually unchanged. It looks the exact same. Nature, however, can tell. By removing trees from here and here and here, for example, it means more sunlight can reach the forest floor. You can see puddles of it everywhere. And that will stimulate growth. Younger trees, flowers, bluebells, hopefully. And that's good for beetles and birds, bees. It's good for everything. And he's 100% right. It does. It's so beneficial. Plus he gets to sell the timber. Or use it for firewood. It's really beneficial. He finds a little barren old uh, chick in one of his sheds. So yeah, we can see a little barren old chick here. And essentially because he finds this, he decides to put up barren old boxes with typical Jeremy Clarkson uh, That's a baby. It's just results. Down, he can't fly. Look at him. So cute. I spent a day um, three years ago now actually tagging these fellas um, in North Cork. the woods. It's good fun. Four hives then, are they? Yeah. They're very smart. The plan was. Then he also decides to get some bees. He gets like a quarter of a million bees, which is really good. Pollinates his plants, and he also ends up selling the bees, the bee or the honey, sorry, in his farm shop, which is really good and really beneficial. What I want to move on to is the Badgers bit, which my friend over at Wilder Ireland will 
know all too well how badly badgers are I prosecuted in see. Ireland. Apart from the fact they've eaten just about every hedgehog in Britain, they're like teenagers. They lie in bed all day, get up at night, transmit diseases, not what And they're, they're incredibly cute, the but out. in Ireland they're ridiculed they because they supposedly spread TB, even though new studies have shown that they don't really uh, spread TB at all. In fact, it's actually mostly down to slurry. And culling of badgers has stopped now in Wales and Scotland, but it continues in Ireland and rapidly. This is a big field. It's so big that it would take a spider five or six weeks to get across it. Now, this is the bit I, I mentioned at the very start, how he wants to create wildflowers with his tillage in order to kill the pests. But look at it, it's beautiful. Like his meadows and his wildflowers all over the place are gorgeous. And he even bought the sheep originally as a low cost, low cost uh, way of keeping it low down. Now we move back to the back to wetland again, where he fills it up. And he also, he fills it up with trout. And go away if you just gently net them in. <laughs> so he buys trout and he fills it up. And eventually he ends up selling the trout to the local pub for dinner. And also, like he created this wetland for wildlife otters and herons and you know other wildlife but in like episode seven or eight he puts a big massive electric fence around it to keep the otter and herons from actually killing his trout so it becomes so it goes from a wetland for wildlife to a trout farm essentially and that'll pretty much do it for the episode he goes into a bit more and tidying tidies it up but that's that's essentially the the episode so thank you for watching and i call this reacts to clarkson's farm like it's an absolute brilliant episode brilliant tv show in general 100 percent recommend you to watch it and the link's down in the description um, i really enjoyed making this video i thought it was something really different and something i hadn't done so far also just got it out there and let me try something new with the channel and hopefully you all enjoy it don't forget to check me out on tiktok at the ecologist also on Instagram at Keep the Ecologist. Be sure to sign up to my Patreon if you want to support the channel and want to see more content like this. And the link for that is also in the description. Thanks very much for watching and we'll catch you next time.